Now, on to navigational tools. All users have a dashboard. You can access your dashboard by clicking on your name at the top right of the page. Feel free to update your profile picture, which will show next to it. Click, down, click the downward arrow key next to your name. You'll see a drop down box appear. Click on My Dashboard. This is essentially the hub of all your activity, which includes registrations, alerts for past and upcoming events or service opportunities, course listings, and groups. As you see here now that you're a member of your group, rather than going through all the previous steps, you can click into your dashboard and go straight to your group page. Seamless, right? I told you. Feel free to play around in the system to learn more. As you can see, there's also a couple of management tabs here, which are usually available to anyone with an administrative role. Now, if you have an administrative role, please note it does depend on at what level. You may only be an administrator for a particular page, group, or event. You will also have access to the My Activity tab. Unlike the My Dashboard, which provides you an overview of all your general activities and membership details, the My Activity tab will help you navigate specific items such as your groups, for which you are a member of, your registrations, your impacts, etc. These navigation tabs are key for all users. As an admin, you'll have access to a couple of additional navigational tools. You'll have access to the Manage button, which will appear at the top right of the page where you can find your dashboard and your My Activities button. This Manage button, which can be found on your main group page, will provide you access to various backend management functions. On the group page for which you are an administrator of, you will see a Manage button next to the thumbnail image or logo. This is typically where the Become a Member button would appear. Clicking this button will provide you access to the back end of the system. On the left, you will have a navigation panel for a host of different functions. We'll go over more of these functions later in the session. Let's click into the events button to see what's there. On their screen, you'll see all published and unpublished events created in your group and additional function buttons as well. We'll talk more about this in an upcoming video. I'm going to click into this event to show you where you can find some additional management features on the events page. On the front facing user view, of each event page, you will find a navigation panel on the right of your screen, which again will bring you to the back end to make updates, changes, and more. So, on to the next video to learn about updating your group page.